I think it's the the values that a health leader has and their um, values about um, creativity and curiosity. So thinking outside the box and thinking about new solutions. Um, it's about equity, you know, being being really committed to wanting um, really fair and equal um, access and outcomes in health. And for regional WA, that's particularly important. And for our First Nations people, really, really important. I think that the thing that's most important is to be your genuine self, to be honest and upfront about what you do and how you're going to do it. And I think the other thing too is understanding that you'll be judged on the behaviours that you display rather than the words you say. And so for me, it's all about being my real self to everybody and um, work and working as a team. We're trying to keep the right balance of policy to ensure we keep safety. But what we've got to make sure is policy doesn't stifle innovation. And I think the health leaders, we have a role uh, to balance that and make a judgment. Um, sometimes you can be overly cautious and actually cause more harm than good. But sometimes we know from examples where there's no rules, where there's no guardrails, harm can occur as well. You need to be able to stay focused on why you're there and what you're doing. I think you need to be resilient because healthcare is and always has been a chaotic industry. So I say it's a human industry, a chaotic industry, and for me it's like being at Luna Park every day. So it's a big ride and some days you get off and you go, wow, I don't know if I can do that again, and other days you get off and you go, oh, let's go, let's do it. So you have to be resilient to recover, to be agile. I think we've been given some fantastic frameworks in the last few years. So the Sustainable Health Review provides a fantastic roadmap uh, for where we need to be heading in key areas of health delivery. Um, the need to be really clear about working on that preventative and primary health. Be courageous and bold and help the government think of new ways of providing care. So in, in WA, our government is looking and, and starting to provide care with virtual um, you know, medicine available, available to everybody, looking at different ways for patients to enter the system, uh, digitally enabled. So I think healthcare leaders need to say, well, what do we really need? Be courageous, give ideas, and then see them through, which would be always what we have to do. There's a great saying, we have two eyes, two ears, and one mouth, and I think it's about the proportions of what we use. I think one of our speakers said that earlier today. So I think we also have to be great listeners and not assume that we actually have the answers.